Hello all and welcome back to my channel. I'm Terry Martin and this is my lock tutorial. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you've been here before, I know it's been a while but I'm back and I'm going to try and be consistent for all of y'all. As you can see, I've got a new hairstyle. I tried to do passion twists over my locks. So I saw that passion twists were all over my timeline and I thought hmm I wonder if I could do that over my locks and just for you guys I had an attempt at it because I know sometimes trying out these things trial and error is a bit long especially when you have to go and buy the hair and so on and such forth so this is what I'm here for I'm here to try out things for you guys who have locks I want to try something new because who said locks had to be boring hmm? I put them over my locks um, as you can see Maybe on this side, I've even left a few of my locks out because um, I ran out of hair. That's the truth. Now you guys know me, you know I'm a fan of big hair already and I love the fact that this hair is big and it's curly. I don't know if it's just because of the way I did it, but it's big and it's curly and I love it. I'm going to show you the way in which I decided to install this over my locks. Uh, here's the hair that I use, it's a water wave pattern. I just made sure that I manipulated the hair a little bit to take away some of the curl pattern just to fluff it out a bit so that when I put it in it wouldn't be too silky and it would hold as best as it could. I also put some mousse over the hair at the very end. Um, mousse just helps it look more together again because once you've fluffed it up a bit it can look a bit wild so the mousse helped to just bring it all back in and make it look neat again. So here I'm going to show you how I installed the hair. So I'm going to show you here with this piece of my hair that I've left out. Just to show you how I attached it. Um, there's so many videos on this on how to do passion braids. So or passion twists, sorry, but um, I just thought I'd leave one out just to show you guys what exactly I did. Now these parts I cut just so they're a little bit longer than my actual dreads. Reason being is I wanted it to have a layered effect as you can see so I didn't want this to be too long and I'm actually going to stagger it a little bit like that. Let's see if we can show you. Yeah, I'm going to stagger it a bit like that as I put it in. So I just started simply by doing a three strand braid to join it all together. Once I've plaited down just a little bit my three strands I just split my dreads and the hair into two like that and began to twist. I did this on every dread that's how I did them all I just wanted it to blend in so my dreads were already a little bit curly before I started so it was easy for it to wrap around Oh, this one's a bit short, so <laughs> I didn't quite plait that in very well. So there you go. And that's my twist done. So you can see it's really simple. And I cut them down a little bit, so it looks like this. It's really cute I think how it turned out I'm really happy with it um, it's something different again it's just to change it up sometimes I recently cut my locks quite short so this gives me length and allows me to have something to play around with and do some different hairstyles you know just something different for the summer season so I hope this video was helpful I know I didn't really show you the install of all of the hair but I don't feel like I need to because there's so many videos on that and hopefully the one that I showed you was helpful please let me know give me a thumbs up if you like this hairstyle let me know what else you'd like me to try over my locks I can try most things I'm I'm really up for it um and until next time stay blessed peace out people bye